it's not uh, the artist's job to to comment like a newspaper editor, you know. Born in 1929 in Killyclocker in County Tyrone, Brian Freel was the son of a schoolmaster from Derry and a postmistress from Glenties in County Donegal. When I was a boy, we always spent a portion of our summer holidays in my mother's old home near the village. He left behind a teaching career to become a writer in the early 60s and also moved from Derry to his mother's home county. His first major success was Philadelphia Here I Come about a man emigrating from the fictional village of Ballybeg in County Donegal, where Friedel's plays were often set, to the United States. I think it would be equally valid to say that Philadelphia was a look at a certain aspect of Irish life which was impoverished and spiritually unfulfilling and frustrating. It was a Broadway hit and was subsequently made into a film, as was his later play Dancing at Lunasa, with its famous kitchen dancing scene. Oh, and I better not forget the cigarettes. Or the sorry. central Just role of Kit was played by Meryl Streep in the film and the playwright and actress unveiled a plaque in Glenties in 1998. He was a founder member of the Field Day Theatre Company with the actor Stephen Ray. The company's first production was Freel's play Translations at Derry's Guildhall in 1980. He closely guarded his privacy and rarely gave interviews, although often appeared at events to honour him and his work. In 2009, Brian Freel opened a theatre named after him at Queen's University. Why Brian Freel stands out for me uh, as a dramatist uh, is that he has been a constant innovator. I think he's been one of the most inventive writers, not just in Irish theatre, but in world theatre. To be honest, I think the astounding thing for me is that he was never awarded the Nobel Prize. Uh, because I certainly think he is of equal standing, certainly with the Irish writers who have uh, got that recognition. Freel's energetic dramas ranged from comedy to tragedy, often within the same play. Offstage he was described as unassuming and shy, but he took great interest in the many stagings of his work. He often took part in rehearsals or corresponded with directors during productions, even when in ill health in his later years. In 2015, the first cross-border festival celebrating Brian Freel's life and work was held in Donegal and Belfast, a fitting tribute to a man regarded as one of our greatest ever playwrights.